everywhere together. The Roots was in the 60s and was able to show Velasquez a great deal about technique. This, this fellow never left Spain. See? He never got out of Spain and he was painting the same palette that his fellow Spaniards were painting with. And they're all pretty black and dirty and dark, muddy looking paint. Did you know that? Oh yeah, the whole Spanish school was very dismal. And then all of a sudden, because uh, he's from Rivera, he moves down to Naples. Diego Rivera, the model's painter. And if you look at the teacher of Velasquez, how's he painting? You, you know, our friend, uh, he married his daughter. Pacheco! He married Pacheco's daughter. But Pacheco is his teacher. But when you look at Pacheco's painting, you can't believe that he could have helped Velasquez. But he obviously did because I read all the notebooks of Pacheco. They're translated now. You can read them in, in the library finders and all that. Pacheco. And Pacheco gives the, all this information. See? And Velasquez was started at uh, 10 years old, 11 years old. You had to throw the bones, you had to throw the cast, you had to throw all this stuff. We, we ignore the. And then he studied, before he studied with his father-in-law, he studied with uh, Herrera, Herrera, Herrera. Herrera was a mad uh, revolutionist. Yeah, he was always blowing up something. I think the, the Inquisition was always happening. Something. But he was a ferocious revolutionary. This thrills me to think Vasquez got tied up with somebody like that. You see? <laughs> and uh, that's all we know about Herrera. But I guess Herr Velasquez, the family didn't think that was good, good for him, so they <laughs> finally got him with, with uh, this guy was nuts. And then he leaves Herrera and he goes, finally meets the Pacheco. And Pacheco left no book to But the point is that Velasquez got something from Rubens in the sense that he gave him 300 years of knowledge that was not in Spain. It was only in the possession of El Greco. And Greco wasn't showing anything. See, Greco came from Venice, Go shop, the Venetians. See, and he was painting his marvelous, uh, fantastic things, you know, and he was going there to go to Toledo. And, and, and if you look at Toledo sitting on a hill in the storm, it's just like one of Greco's paintings. You go in the cathedral and you feel this, like, before you see the painting, you feel Greco, you know. And he's going, you know. Uh, you know, he's going up, 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 who's pimply, you know? And then you can understand why they, you wouldn't want to be around there when the Inquisition, you don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> so, you know, we have them today. They're all walking around out there someplace. Lucky we live in America. But anyway, I just wanted to point out that the 1700, the palette changes. And it goes changes and the painters begin to change and then 1800 the camera comes in and that's the end.